Hey guys, it's Lexi, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a Newman projection for a cyclohexane chair. So let's go ahead and learn how to convert a cyclohexane chair conformation into a Newman projection form. So as you can see, I have a cyclohexane chair conformation, and I'm just using letters just to show you guys how you can convert any chair into a Newman projection. So the first step is we need to figure out where we're going to be looking. So we need to have two front carbons and two back carbons. So for example, let's say we decided we wanted to view this molecule from back here, and we're going to be viewing this way, meaning that the front carbons are going to be this black dot here and this black dot over here. And then the back carbons are going to be the green dots in the back. So we are viewing this molecule down the highlighted bond where the black carbon is the front carbon and the green carbon is the back carbon. So now let's go ahead and translate that to the Newman projection. So as you can see from the perspective of the eyeballs that are looking down the highlighted bond, we have the front carbons as these black dots. So this black dot on the left side is going to represent the front carbon over here. And then the black dot on the right side is going to represent the carbon right over here. And so now what we want to do is recognize how are the headrests and the footrests going to appear. So we can see that we have a headrest right at the top. And so the headrest is going to show up as a little triangle sticking up from our two front carbons. Meanwhile, the footrest is going down and it is attached to the two back carbons. So it is going to appear as a little triangle going down from the two back green carbons. Now we can go ahead and try to fill in the positions. So let's start by filling in what's attached to the two front carbons. So if we look at the front carbons, we've got the front carbon right over here, and that has the letters L and K attached. The letter K is going straight down axial. So we're going to draw a line axial down to represent the letter K attached to that carbon. We also have the letter L that is going up and to the side because it's equatorial. So it's going to be slanted up on the front carbon. Meanwhile, on the other front carbon, if we look over here, we've got the letter C and D attached. So the letter D is axial down, meaning it is going to be straight down on the other front carbon. And then the letter C is equatorial up, so it's going to be slanted up on the front carbon. Now let's go ahead and move to the back carbons. On the back carbons, we can start with this back carbon over here, which would show up on the left side. So if we look at that carbon, it has the letter J axial up. So straight up attached to the back carbon, we're going to have the letter J. Then we also have the letter I equatorial down. So slanted down here, we're going to have the letter I. Let's move on to the other back carbon. If we look at this back carbon, we can see that we have the letter F sticking straight up axially. So on the back carbon, we're going to add the letter F. We also have the letter E going down equatorial. So it's going to be slanted down just like that. Now let's focus focus in on the headrest. On the headrest, we have the letter A going axial up, and we have the letter B going equatorial down. So we would just put in the letter A going up and the letter B going down. It's a little bit difficult to show that the B is equatorial. You can either put it down like that, or if you would like, you can kind of try to show it slanted down. Then if we look at the footrest, we have the letter G going axial down. So we can go ahead and put the letter G straight down. And then we have the letter H that is going equatorial up, so it's kind of slanted up. So here's a practice problem for you to try. Go ahead and pause the video and then you can check your work. Okay, first you can see that I've changed the perspective that we're using to look at this molecule. So you can see where I have the little cyclops guys, and clearly the front carbon now is going to be this red dot and this red dot over here. And then the back carbons are going to be these green circles in the back. So we'll go ahead and draw our Newman projection. And you're going to notice if you look at where the headrest is positioned, we can see that it is up but attached to the back carbon 
carbons. And now look at where the foot rest is positioned. You can see that it is down but attached to the front carbon. So now we can go ahead and fill in the Newman projection. Let's start with this front carbon. We can see that we have a hydrogen going up and axial and we also have a bromine that's going down equatorial so it's going to be slanted down. On the other front carbon we can see that we have a chlorine going axial up or straight up. We also have an ethyl going equatorial down so slanted down. Now let's look at the back carbons. Let's start with this one. We can see that we have a fluorine going axial down or straight down. We also have a hydrogen going equatorial up so slanted up. Now let's look at this back carbon. You can see that we have a hydrogen going axial down. We also have a methyl going equatorial up, so slanted up. And so now we've been able to draw the Newman projection for this molecule. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date when I upload new videos.